Hello, guys, and welcome to episode four, I think, of DM Podcast, aka Dad and Matty Podcast. I'm with Mick again. Mark is selfishly still away on holiday. Uh, we have been sent some selfies of him looking very burnt and very red. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've, so Mark's away. He'll be back next week. Um, obviously, just to add again that the podcast is not only on YouTube, the clips are shared on TikTok. You can now listen as well on Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music. Um, also, this week, we have got a special guest on, which is just going to be me and a special guest. And it's uh, I'm not going to reveal who. And that is going to be a little tester to see how that goes. So it's someone I know. So I've got a good rapport with them. So make sure you follow all my socials and YouTube and TikTok. And then when it comes on the um, podcast, you'll be be aware of it. And he's a TikToker, by the way. Um, so, yes, that's a bit of the introduction. Now, same again as last week. It is summer holidays. So my kids are a pain in the bum and he might be interrupting or making noises or whatever. And maybe say for Mick, I don't know if his kids are currently out. But yeah, that's it really. And as you know, with this, the, with the normal day-to-day podcast, it's literally just talking about previous week's uh, news or anything car-related, tax-related that's happened in the last um, seven days. Have I got news for you, Tech Vibe? But that's it, guys. For Obviously, I'll start first as I've got nothing on today doing the podcast, but I've got a man here land at 7 p.m. tonight because I was helping out. I was helping out someone who was struggling to get a driver. So I come in <laughs> like a super soldier. I come in to the rescue to save them because I'm an amazing person, an amazing driver. Uh, not mentioning no companies, m and Travel, Mick. Uh, anyway, Mick, what have you got on today? <laughs> um, I've only got a late one like yourself. Well, Mine's later than yours, so yeah, consider yourself lucky because I'm on. I've only got eleven o'clock, but I've had a couple of days off. Yesterday was a day off. Um, right. Today's basically a, basically a day off, but I've got a um, eleven o'clock land tonight, and then I think I've got like three tomorrow, three the next day. Yeah, it's busy for the rest of the week, like so. That's why I've got a couple of days, days off at the start of the week. What was that? Uh, well, so I've, got a, I've had a couple trickle through here and there as well, um, which is pretty good for being a brand new company. But yeah, if, if you weren't aware that uh, Mick was too lazy to do his 7pm land, so I've come in clutch to save the day. I just wanted to add that in again. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I was going to say... The only reason oh, I have not that man. Man. What? I said the only reason I didn't take that one was because I was supposed to be playing footy, but... Lads have let me down, so I could actually do that job. Uh, <coughs> uh, hey, don't, don't be an Indian giver, lad. But uh, what's going on? Uh, so what I was going to say, which is quite interesting, hey, what's going quite interesting, right, is recently on my website, I've just added large car. And I wanted to get your feedback because obviously you're the airport dude anyway. So obviously, as you know, a car will only take, what, two, maybe three passengers tops? Because of the corresponding luggage in the boot, normally two like two full size suitcases in a normal standard car, like your Nero, like your Focus Estate or Monday or whatever. Um, so what I've done, I've added a little happy medium, and between my car and my minibus, on the options, I've added large car, and that's up to four passengers and up to three large suitcases, like my Tesla Model S, maybe like an SUV or like an estate. Do you know what I mean? And I actually got added that on last week, and I got a booking last week, uh, Crosby to Manet, using the large car. So I thought it was a nice price between a car and an MPV without anyone, you know, having to fork out the MPV because there's four of them and they're happy to share a car. What's your feedback on that? Because um, obviously you've got car and then MPV, haven't you? Have See, you I've considered always, it? I've, I've always considered it, but not named it. Pretty much similar to what you've done, like a large car. Um, yeah. I've always considered it as doing it as like a, but mine would be a state. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's that's yeah. the that's the in between. That that that's what I was gonna do. But what are you classing as a large car? Because I, the way I looked at it, it was a state. The reason because we don't put I don't put four passengers. In a in a car, 
even if it was a large car yeah. or a mistake. You've got three passengers sitting on the back seat there. And depending on how they date or even large car, they're still going to be not comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Um, large car, SUV, perfect. Not a problem, do you know what I mean? Because you can you can drop one seat at the back. You know these six-seater cars that you've got, yeah. basically, where yeah. the the open up the back seats, they've got no boot, but they can put one down, can't they? So if you've got four passengers, you can have two there, one in the back and one in the front, and then the four, three, four <laughs> cases in the in the one but in the space where it's folded down. That's not too bad, do you know what I mean? The only reason I yeah. haven't done it is because of that bench. You 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 sticking three passengers on a bench at the back, and. Yeah, some people are going to be made happy to pay the, the the car price to do that. You know what I mean? But yeah. I just go. I I just, I just for the for the difference because with the way we see ourselves, if if I could, and we've done the numbers and we've done the maths, is that cars are pretty really busy throughout outside of the, the likes of July and August. Cars overtake the bus work. Car work overtakes the bus work in, in them months. There's only two months of the year, really, that um that you get the bus work over powering the car work, and that's through the summer holidays. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got more families going away, blah, blah, blah. Through the summer holidays, the bus work overtakes it, and the amount that comes in and them out is thingies. Basically, power is overpowers all the car work and gets so yeah. when we done when we done the figures it was around 60 70 percent car 60 around 60 percent car work 40 percent bus work over the whole year wasn't it when we done yeah. the figures going off 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 mine but i can i can guarantee you that 30 percent or 20 percent of that car work that where it's 40 percent is within six to eight weeks I can guarantee that bus work is probably in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, and the rest is car work outside of them months. Um, hey, just for incest, I'll stop you there, there Griff. Yeah, sorry, that's what just, I was getting at. I've just... Um, what? I was getting at, we, we basically see ourselves as a minibus company. Do you know what I mean? And this is the reason yeah. why the car prices are so close to the bus prices. So do you you look at the, bus, the you look at the car price to the bus price sixty five and eighty? It's only fifteen yeah. quid. Do you know what I mean? It's only a fifteen quid jump, and the reason for that is because we want the we want the minibus work. We we need to be lower than these bigger companies. The well, mm. you can't be lower than Uber. Get, yeah. It's for, do, do you know what I mean? We want the I work know. to come in. Yeah. So that's the reason why the bus price isn't matching the likes of them. Alphas, well, Delta don't do buses, but yeah. the people, the, the the taxi companies out there that do the six, sevens, and eight seaters, we need to be like a little lower than them because they're the first people they go to. They're getting quotes off them, and then they'll try, oh, let's try airport companies, and then yeah. realize that they're cheaper. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get you, though, because like what you're saying there is um, you offer a car. And then your MPV is a little bit more, so like they, you've got a choice of stepping up a little bit and get a bigger, spacious vehicle. But for myself personally, like the reason I've added this only because is um, I've had people coming, like say four passengers with no luggage, and they're going from Liverpool Airport and they're coming for a day trip at the city centre. Yeah. And in that sense, they've met me and go, "There's only four of us. We're happy to go in the car, but there's no choices because I don't want to pay the MPV prices." Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. so the, the, reason I, the reason I never use the state, because there is like the Toyota Corolla that is in the state, but it's still quite a small car. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So what I've done, even I've done four passengers and three suitcases and called that large car, meaning that the person I put, when I put the job out, that could still go to a bus driver if he wanted to, or someone yeah. like myself in the Model S that could swallow up three suitcases and four passengers. And like, I've just checked the price now. From Broad Green Hospital to Man Air, it was seven because I'm on a per mile basis. By the way, I've, st I've got rid of the fixed pricing. Uh, so I'm on 71 for a car, 77 for a large car. So it's only six quid more. 
and then 90 quid for the MPV and then 110 for the exec. Um, and I just thought it was like a happy meal, like you said, just an estate option. And then you're not taking that away from the customer then, you know, you're, not, you're giving them that option where at least the customer has got a choice. Because if the customers are happy to go in a car, at least then they've got an option, if you know what I mean. And also, yeah. sometimes it might be two adults and two 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 kids. Do you know what I mean? Like six, yeah. seven-year-olds, they all fly in the back of a nut. you know what I mean? So that's the yeah. reason why I've added it. And I was just curious, obviously, on your opinion on um, would it be worth it and stuff. But yes, I've the just other, added it um, The other downside as well is you've got to look at your fleet and what you've got on your fleet. I know the drivers... There's all over the place and probably thingy. But the lads that you've got doing work for you, I've got probably two estates there. And if I ask for an estate yeah. and them two lads aren't available, I've then got to ask a bus driver to do it for a lower price. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's yeah. the downside that makes sense of having that option. Yeah, that's yeah, the, that makes that's sense. the downside the of having Go on. The main reason I have to be self person is because obviously I've got a large car. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not too bad for you. You can come with it. But also, my price is a bit more expensive. Where I think mini bus drivers would be happy to do the large car jobs as well. You know the way I've priced it, which is not too bad. Because obviously, I'm UK wide, aren't I? So I've got to have kind of global yeah, yeah. price and not just like competitive Liverpool pricing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's sweet. I just wanted to cover that. Now, obviously, the big one this week. And I've seen a lot of people complaining on like social media and obviously in my Matty's Minions WhatsApp group as well, there's people going. And also the odd time I've gone out on Uber as well. And obviously Uber is so bad in the summer holidays. It always has been. I know it's extra bad this year because of the current climate, everyone's skins and everything else and everything else. But I've done a video on it. I was wondering in your opinion, Mick. I said in the summer holidays, obviously the students are away. Do you know what I mean? The students are away, so they're all back at home. They'll be parents staying off with the kids and normally they'll be getting Uber to work. The people use Uber to go and do the school run, that's gone. I was just saying to you, do you reckon, obviously, what do you reckon the main reason why Uber is dead during the summer holidays? The general taxis is obviously, the, it, it, it's that, it's back down to, the, it's fallen back down to there's, there's, there's more miles to feed. In a sense, yeah. for drivers, do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you've got, you're right, students have gone away, so people... So the demand for taxis has gone lower, but there's more drivers out there wanting work because you've also got all the lads that have school runs, bear in mind, and college, all them. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? All them that are normally out doing the school runs in the morning and in the afternoons, even college runs, the the the, the, the acnes that are doing the the, the 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 disabled schools, they're all up the back onto the back. ranks. Yeah. And doing all that, you know what I mean? So they're all they're trying to make their money up from the school contracts that they've got throughout the year. Okay. And then the demand for, like you say, your students, people even taking the kids to school in taxis that phone Ubers just to go to and from the school runs. There's, yeah. there's a lot to do it. I, I know a lot of people still have to work. But... Yeah, there's not there's the, the city's not moving in the morning as much as it do, does when the schools are around. You'll notice that probably yeah. by the traffic on the roads as well. But I think the, I think the biggest the biggest influx is you've got all these contracted school drivers coming out in the morning trying to make their money up. There's more drivers. You know out. What? Do you know why I forgot I forgot about that? And and that's a good valid point because I done a video on this last week. And that's a good valid point that all the school contact drivers that normally do the morning and the afternoon rush through the council and through other third party companies, they're all that's gone now because the kids are off. So they're out maybe on Uber or local taxis trying to get that money that they've currently lose outside of that term, haven't they? Yeah, of course. So yeah, there's yeah, even yeah. more drivers in the summer than outside the summer because of that reason as well. And Absolutely. lack of passengers. Yeah. That's what it is. We, we we used to. I used to. I don't obviously. I might have mentioned it to you when we when I was an operator at Davy Liver. We used to dread <laughs> Davy Liver. I was a, we, I was a, I was an operator for Davy Liver, and we used to have school contracts. We had the hospitals. With the, the contracts were unreal. What we had at, at Davy Liver, and we used to dread the morning shift. 
because you'll go in at seven. Shift used to be seven till three, and three till eleven, and eleven till seven. Um, yeah. And you go in at seven a.m. when all the schools were were, were like thingy, and your screen would be full. But everyone will sometimes obviously drivers will hand them back or I've got something to do in the morning with the wife, blah blah blah. Or I've got my own kids to sort out. To. So you'd have a few of that to cover, and it'd be. It'd be horrendous trying to cover them, and they'll sit there. And you've got to, you obviously, you've got to get these kids in school for time, the right time. Do you know what I mean? But your screen yeah. would be chocker full from seven till half past nine with all these contracted schools, allocated drivers to them, sending their jobs over to the set so they can mark and get the tracking history and everything on the jobs. But you know, when when the schools were off, oh, the morning shift was a dream. It was like. You have your list of schools are gone, and your list of drivers are gone, and you're like, yeah, send the, like oh, you've obviously got the phone calls to 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 deal with as well. Normal general people phoning for taxis, yeah, take that work, no problem, take it, no problem. In in these months, what we're in now, back when the school contracts were there, now we're fully booked. Sorry, you're gonna have to try in yeah. an hour, try in an hour. Do you know what I mean? It it and just how long ago was this, man? This was obviously bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you. This was well, it, it, it's years, put it that way. I'm trying to think yeah. when when I got when we got made redundant at Davy Liver must have been, ten, must have been ten 2014, years. I think. So ten years, yeah. Oh yeah, ten years, bang on, yeah. Yeah, there is so yeah, even, sure even was... then even <laughs> then the summers were dead. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's always been the case, hasn't it? Like even when Uber was like really busy in Liverpool five, six years ago, before COVID, even back then, the summer holidays in January is always dead, isn't it? So a lot yeah. of people now are commenting and going, oh, my God, the Wolverham drivers are making a killing. I'm like, yeah, they are, they are killing it, like, in that sense. But it's the summer, mate. It's always been dead in the summer. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, but no, I just wanted no... to touch that to the room. Yeah, there's no, there's no difference from, like, it, 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 it could be even worse now. That the summer's more quieter than what, well, it will be because there's more drivers on the road. So the the summer's going to be yeah. worse than what it what it was back then. Do you know what I mean? And back then we knew the summer was a killer for us because the school contracts were gone, and that was a big yeah. big aspect for Davy Liver. Davy Liver had loads of schools. They would they they and the hospitals to to maintain. They have for Zachary, the Royal Women's. They had all contracts for them as well. Do you know what I mean? Not to mention the train yeah. contracts, they had, they had everything, and even the work from the other contractors dropped in the summer. Believe it or not, for whatever reason, we couldn't tell you what what that reason was. But even the okay. even the hospital work slowed down in the summer. It's just it's it's down to more people have actually going away as well. You've got to look at people yeah. flying oh, away yeah. and they're not in the city. Do you know what I mean? The amount of people well, that go out from down in it. it just shows you that we. We as an airport transfer go chock it and in the summer because half the city's flat probably fifty percent of the city's flying on Aldi. They're not all going at the same time, obviously, but it's it's fluctuated that if I've got if I've got six jobs today, I'm looking at my screen, six jobs on my next twenty four hours, the next company's probably got about ten. The company yeah. before me's probably got about five. Do you know what I mean? So there's there's thirty families out of Liverpool going going away. Do you know what I mean? So then actually today, and then they're gone for a week or two. A uh, week they, or two. So yeah, that's a good point as well. Do you know what I mean? But the population's down massively with the students gone. Everyone's going on holiday. People are working from home, and then you got to demand more taxis because they're chasing the money because it's quiet. They're probably putting in extra long shifts, yes. and also all the school contractors are back on working full. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So if anyone asks now, why is it dead in the summer holidays? Boom, you have lanes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mick, what I wanted to touch on, right, mate? So I um, I picked up this uh, family from, where did we go? Krakow. And this is reminding me of it, what I'm going to pull up now. And um, they, come, they, they, hit the, they hit the vodkas heavy before they flew. And they had mm -hmm. they were thrown up all over the plane, they said. Oh, non-stop thrown up on the plane. It was awful. Bad, terrible experience. They were walking to my car, I was in the bus at the time, and I looked at them and he looked great. And I was yeah. like, 
News all right, and he went out were really bad. So I'll give them all sick bags. I don't know if you've seen them, I'll put them on my channel, big long ones like that, right? And they were yeah. all the way home. All of them were thrown up in the car in these sick Brilliant. bags. So no mess. But that was the only time, because I don't work much nights, the only time when I've had technically a mess in my car that obviously could have caused a problem with me continuing working. But luckily, the sick bags are brilliant and you took all the mess away, right? But one of the lads that we seen the other day, didn't we? Um, he was out working Uber and a painting and decorator got in his got in his car and he was oh, covered yeah, in yeah. either paint dust, that, yeah. paint dust or plast- plaster of dust and he caped the inside of his car, the seats, the door and everything. And obviously, in the end, he put it to Uber he was off the road for two, three hours. He had to get it valeted and he got 80 quid off Uber. But what I want to ask you, Mick, you've been in the taxis for a long time. Is there any type of, have you had to deal with any like messes or any scenarios where you've had to like, do you know what I mean? You've wrecked your car a certain way or whatever. Only, I've had people sick in my car, that's it. Have you? Have you had yeah, people sick, like, yeah? really bad sick in my car. The worst one. Well, like no sick and, bag. No sick bag, all over the back seats. It wasn't even sorry, not the back seats, the back floor, but the floor. Have you ever seen them box trannies? Yeah. The the old version transits mini buses. Yeah. I had the maroon yeah. one of them back on Alpha. It was. And um, two students from town. This is the this is me worst one. That I've had two students from town going up to Calderstones area. They look fine. I'll be t- I'll be totally honest. When they went up, when they went and got them and picked them up, they looked fine. They was they, was, they weren't like falling over the place because you on nights you're wary as a driver. Everyone knows if you work nights, and that's what I used to do. When I, well, I always do if I'm doing general Uber and taxis. I'll always do nights. Um, Totally, so probably because that's the what I've been used to, and down to the minibuses, the more work for the minibuses. Um, yeah. I've always done nights, and so you you wary when you're picking up. It this was must have been two three o'clock in the morning, probably about halfway through my shift, because I used to start like ten at night. Um, it was a busy Saturday night, um, and uh, yeah, I was on Alpha. They, they were fine getting in. This was the this was what done me. I didn't. They were all right. They got in. They were talking. They were chatting. About ten minutes into the journey up to up to Calderstones, I just uh, I just uh, them go quiet. And the one directly behind me, was, one was sitting in the middle seat. One was sitting in the directly behind me. I just heard them go quiet. And I thought they've gone awfully quiet. They fell asleep. Went like that to turn round. Next minute, I just she just the one behind me, and I just you know what? It wasn't even the 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 the, the belching noise. It was the splashing I heard behind me, just going. And I was like, oh my god! I was I I, I was just I just knew what was behind me so I just carried on and thought you know what let's get this girl out of my taxi and I said you're paying for that by the way it gets worse Matty gets worse get about five three five three minutes from the from the drop off a mate starts belching in the middle the pair of them spewing it up in the back of my car and I'm screaming at them you're paying for that you know you're paying for that blah 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 Got them to the destination and he finally stopped spewing. She just spewed all the way home. And it was just like water. It wasn't hard to clean, but it was carpets in my bus. <laughs> and you know the time it took me to get this. The, the, that put me off the road for a day. That night yeah. and the day after, because the smell just cut. I couldn't get the smell out. I had to go to a professional volator to get the smell out. I tried to clean it. That it was just, it was unreal. Got to the address. How much? Got to the address, and I said, "Jesus, going to have to pay for that." I won't let them out the bus until I said, "Jesus, I said, Jesus, you've done the fair. I, I want eighty quid for that." 
you're going to have to, it's, it's put me off the road, I can't carry on. I said, you're lucky I'm not charging you more. Back then, obviously, this was a few years ago, this was five years ago, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I said, I, you're going to have to put, pay the fare plus £80 for that. And that wasn't even going off Uber's ch- charges, do you know what I mean? It was just a sick, random sick fee, sick fee that I'd, I pulled out of my head. I said that I was looking at how much I'd made, I thought it was 80 quid, I'll get that, obviously try and clean it myself, blah, blah, blah. I'll be happy with that. That's what I was working out, what I'd be happy with. So she, um, she went, we haven't got that money. I said, well, who's in your house? You're going to have to, you're going to have to get it. I said, you it up. It's two. It's half past two or three o'clock, or whatever it was in the morning. I've I've been working for half a shift, and you've you've put me off the road now. I can't I can't work with that. I said, even after the clean it, the smell's gonna take a while. Blah, and explaining it all. What blah, blah blah. Human like, do you know what I mean? Because they're saying I can't pay. Yeah. More than anything, next minute she she gets her mum to come out. Her mum give me hundred and twenty quid plus the fare. Ah, oh, fair enough. Because the mum was probably embarrassed about her daughter being a flipping she mess thrown up in the car. Yeah, she was. She was. She, as you can imagine, the mother was dead apologetic. Blah blah blah. Yeah. She she did like try and barter with me, and I said, "Look, when I explained it to her, I said, look, 'Look, I've been out three hours, love, four hours, or whatever it was.' I said, "I'm halfway through my shift. It's a busy Saturday night. You know, when you'd explain it to them, she." She was giving yeah. me the 80 quid, and I, the, she went, okay, 80, fine, yeah. And I said, look, I, I said, if this was the end of the shift, love, I probably wouldn't even ask for that much. I said, I'm working it out what it's going to cost me, what I'm going to be happy with with my wages, and that's the that's the price. I said, I've been out, blah, blah, I explained it all, and she gave me an extra 40 quid on top. So I was nice. like, okay, fair enough. She, but it, it, was the, it was the fact that I didn't know then that I'll be able to clean it and I'll be back on the road tomorrow. But it wasn't because the smell, I could not get the smell out. It was in, it was like it was embedded into the carpet. Do you know what I mean? But that's what I, that's what I mean about like when the cleaning fee and stuff and people don't understand the cleaning fee and like Uber automatically charges the eighty quid and everyone's going, whoa, how terrible is that? But that experience where you just got hundred and twenty quid, you had to pay a valet to probably thirty quid. There's yeah. your 90, and guaranteed if you stayed out the rest of your shift, you put it on a Saturday morning, a Sunday morning, you would have done a lot more than that. Oh, so, yeah. in the end, the girls flew up in your bus and you lost out, even yeah. though they paid 120 quid. Yeah. And people don't actually understand that from a passenger point of view, do they? No. I mean? like, well, this is the problem, isn't it? There's people automatically in fucking hell, 80 quid. They only put a few. Language. Only... Oh, I only dropped a bit of crisp on the back and rubbed it in the carpet. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't matter. The lads have to... Okay, maybe that was over-exaggerating with a bit of crisp on the back seat, but whatever whatever, the, whatever yeah. the thing is, the lad's got to go off the road. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. He think he went a bargain. Yeah, that's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Um, but listen, it is 30 minutes into the podcast and I've still got some two sketchy um, discussions to bring up. So the first one, very sad, but don't even laugh. You best not laugh, Mick. I'm already laughing. Sad no, times. No. Sad times, the car tax is going up for EV owners. So my, my, my car tax is going from naught to £190 per year as of April 2025. But... What I don't get, right? What I don't get is, though, if the EV cars are going up by that much, which is a flipping big percent, does that mean if your tax is 300, is yours going to go up as well? Because obviously, I haven't read. I, all I know is about the electric cars and the low emission cars are going up. But obviously, does that mean then other cars are going up and follow suit? So your mini, what's your minibus tax now per year? And will it be going up, do you know? Uh, what do I pay? 130, 140. I haven't looked if it's going to go up. Yeah, it's about. I went on the, yeah, yeah. I think I went on the monthly one for this one, and I pay like twelve. Yeah, I think it's twelve, thirteen pound a month. Yours is a one point six. I forgot yours is a one point six manual, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Your old six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your tax is under forty quid. So it would be interesting. To see, obviously, if yours is going up next year, that'd be quite fun to have a look. We'll have a look at that later. Um, well, yeah, I'll check that. So I haven't looked. Yeah, because obviously, um, 
Because obviously, if they're, if they're putting an EV card up from North to 190, they're not going to keep yours at 140, are they? Well, no, I can, not. Mind, I can imagine to, mind to go up, but you, the reason why EV cars got no tax from the beginning was an incentive to buy them. Yeah. That's that's the whole reason. So it's not like they've, they're putting it up, they're just bringing the, they're just introducing it in that you have to pay it now, where you didn't have to pay it. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not like well, yours, have, yours have gone up this substantial amount. It's just, it's just you weren't paying it. Do you know what I mean? You, you were getting, well, I'll, I'll you were just, getting the say, incentive I'm... of not paying it because you were buying an EV car. So it's not an increase in tax to the vehicles. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's not a tax yeah, increase. Yeah, I get yeah. yeah it's, it's just we're starting it, to pay it. You're just starting to pay it. It's not an increase of like... To whatever you, I don't know what did, did you pay anything at all for tax? No, see, it, this, that, this is the thing. This it was an incentive for so long, obviously, for so long. They didn't say at the time, yeah, we're going to leave it for so long and bring it in. But yeah. what they've done two years now is obviously a little bit shit because they're bringing it in, <laughs> <laughs> they're bringing it in and letting you pay it. But at the end of the day, why shouldn't you pay it? You use the roads we use, and that's what it's for. Because we're better than you, Mick. We're better. <laughs> it's you not diesel it's, driving. <laughs> you don't pay. You don't pay road tax because you pollute the air. You pay road tax to get the roads fixed, and you're driving over it, and you're heavier. We're, we're better than you. We're better. Your cars are so, no, I nearly listen. swore then. Your cars are heavier, much much heavier as you well. Been, more damage You've been swearing anyway. You've been swearing anyway. Yeah, you've I said, did said them, but I'm, I'm trying to stop myself. No, but what's going on? All jokes aside, right? Um, yeah, you are right. So what happened was, as well, I don't know if you're aware, so you know when I bought my minibus, my Ford Soneo, it was 41 grand. It hit the luxury car tax bracket. So my annual car tax for the first two, three years is like five ton because of the luxury car tax. Now, electric cars as well, was exempt from that as well. But starting 2025, if you buy an EV car that's over 40k, which is by the way, 95% of them, you're gonna get paid luxury car tax on that as well. So all the incentives of going EV to save the planet has just gone out the window. <laughs> so yes, it is cheap to run an electric car, as in mileage. But I save a fortune because the miles I do. Now, someone yeah. who doesn't do the miles I do. I'm going to save that much in fuel. They're going to save a bit, but they save on the on the tax, they save on the, the luxury car, they save on other ways. If they're going to take all that away, like what's the incentive of Joe Bloggs going full of letter? Well, they, they, they don't want... They, they're forcing everyone into, into these EV cars anyway, regardless. So they're not going to want to give anyone incentives. They're giving them incentives now. If you want to, if you want to make the money and think it and save the money... Jump into it now. Well, it's a little bit too late because it's coming in thingy in April. Do you know what I mean? But all these incentives yeah. at the start to get everyone to swap over is the reason to get everyone to swap into an EV car. Once people are in it, they're not, they don't care, do they? They don't care about you. Yeah. Once, you once you've crossed over, it's like once they've got your money, that's it. They're happy. Yeah. It, well, it I, 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 said, I, said, I said in my video that... Um, that, to be honest, I don't know why we weren't paying car tax because car tax is um, responsible for the roads, your local council, your, your, your police, your fire. Do you know what I mean? It goes to your local council pool anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we shouldn't be exempt from that. The only thing that we should be exempt from is the clean air zones and stuff because we do. I know, by the way, Which before people be, start, yes, we produce a lot of emissions when it's getting curated, but the low emission zone is... A No, it's still going. Still going. It's not. I've got the timer at the top. Let's have a look. Patrick, phone me, that's why. Oh, yeah, look, it starts back to nine nine seconds. So I don't know what's happened there because my son phoned me because it's half term. What a legend and ruined my podcast. 
No, but what's going I'll have to talk. I'll have to folks uh, sort that out in a bit. Um, but yeah, so what you call it? Um, the last thing I wanted to uh, uh, put out was um, the Wolverhampton driver in Blackpool, by the way, which is a nice hundred mile away from Wolverhampton. <laughs> got pulled by Wolverhampton licensing. They were doing checks in Blackpool and they found out that the old fella didn't have a license, um, a private hire license. It was the fact that his son, his son um, was the private hire driver and his son allowed his dad to go out and work in his licensed vehicle. And then what I read on Taxi Point's website is the dad is getting done for... Obviously, no license, and his son's also getting done for allowing it. Now, we knew, we kind of know when it happens, you know what I mean? If I had a twin, secretly, if I had a twin and looked half decent, I'd be like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Get yeah. the car out there with I, would, I wouldn't, that's illegal. I wouldn't, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, what I'm trying to get at, it happens, yeah. doesn't it? it? It does happen, do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, but the fact that someone actually got caught while doing it um, is a big no no. What do you reckon of that, Mick? I definitely have been watching them. For them to come all the way from Wolverhampton to there, they've been watching them. First protocol. And throw the book out. Yeah. Yeah, why would you drive from all the way from Wolverhampton as a Wolverhampton council? Direct target this one fella. No, no, they weren't. They weren't. What it was, um, Wolverhampton council, as you know, Wolverhampton drivers are all over the world, you know what I mean? Australia, the moon, do you know what I mean? Mars. But the council, has to go to these different locations to show that they're clacking down on their drivers on whatever day they are. So they're in Manchester Airport. They've been in Liverpool, haven't they? They've been on mm. Edge Lane. Uh, they went up to Preston, and then they went up to Blackpool. So they were doing just stop checks, just general checks, and they come across this Wolverhampton driver who didn't have a licence, and it was actually his son's car that he was driving for. It seems a bit far-fetched that they've just, like... Okay, if they've been doing other areas, fair enough, I can get, I can understand them. But even still, yeah, throw the book at them. Absolutely, you throw the you book at them. You can't do it. Yeah. No, it's like that's like me giving me giving me bed the car and saying, "Go on, go and earn me some money that instead." You you go and work tonight. I don't want to. Do you know what I mean? It is, isn't it? I, I wish I could do that. That'd be boss. Well, look at the, look how look how look at the news this week about the, what's just happened in Tingy, the in Southport. Do you know what I mean? And then you get people who's not even on a taxi, not even licensed, haven't been through the checks that we've all been through. Blah blah blah. I'm not saying that the dad's a problem. I, I mean, he probably he's he's probably the soundest fella in the world, and he's he's. He just he just wants to make a little bit of extra money while his son's not driving the car, whatever. But he can't do it. Yeah, it's still, and... still to this day, mate. Whatever, whatever the weather you know, look at it. He's a not licensed for, um, driver. He's not DBS or safety checked. Yeah. You know what I mean? He could be a flipping non sort of flipping murderer yeah. or even whatever. Yeah, and then obviously as well, the big one. Yeah. Um, he, he's not insured. So but... every every person that he took as a fear wasn't insured, so if it was a bad crash and he got injured or whatever, there's no one to claim from because he wasn't insured. And also, if one of us as well crashed into him or, or he crashed into us, they'll have yeah. to come off our insurance because he wasn't insured again. So, yeah, I'm glad he got caught. Stop yeah. being a tool. Exactly. Throw the book at him, mate. It, it's just, just, he can't do it, and he knows he's done wrong as well by allowing it to happen. Do you know what I mean? So, But the both of them, the pair of them, basically, you know they've been what they've been doing is is wrong and blah blah. So throw the book at the pair of them in my eyes. Yeah, oh, oh. Well, listen, it is now. This one's a four minutes because we son rang. So I can't wait to get off this podcast to film me son in. Um, <laughs> for being a chill. I literally said to him, "I went listen. I went Mick. He's out at the moment. I went, listen. Leave me for an hour. Don't message. Don't call. Nothing like that. Make us I'm on the podcast." So he thought it'd be a good idea to call after half an hour of me warning him not to call me in the next hour. <laughs> It'd be nice to I've see where that cut said. off there, though. But, uh, you know, at least you can piece no, it no, together. 
I think I think that's I'm gonna there's a bit more there, there's a bit more work now because I've got to have to put it together now, aren't I? But um yeah, it should be sound, like it should be sound. Well listen, as again, Miff, thanks very much for this. You're a flipping legend. And Morning. um yeah, we'll get our little um Burns bold guy back next um next next podcast. Once he's coming <laughs> back off holiday. Oh yeah, I look forward to him coming back. Tell us if oh, he Got in any taxis or anything like that over there and what it's like over there. That'd be nice to hear, won't it? Yeah, telling you. I definitely miss working. Mean, he's a workaholic and I definitely 100%. miss working. He'd be glad to get back to it. He'll be, he'll be doing trips from the bar to, to, to the pool. Jump on the back three quid ago. <laughs> Two euro ago. <laughs> 100%, 100%. Oh, well, listen, Mick. It's been, it's been sands anyway. Uh, I'll stop the podcast now. Obviously, by the way, everyone, do us a favour. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, TikTok and all that jazz. And follow the street, um, the podcast on the uh, Spotify, Apple Music and Amazon Music for me, please. Much appreciated. And obviously, the special guest is coming. Hopefully, I'll get it uploaded and live for Friday, 5pm. That's my goal, but it might be Saturday, depending on the editing. Uh, and I can't wait to tell you who it is. And it's going to be pretty cool. And it, yes, it is a TikToker, but he does do a bit of Uber as well. So it'll be interesting to see his views on the thing. But yeah, that's been usual. Thanks very much for uh, listening and watching. And Mick, thanks again. I'm going to end, end the podcast now, and I'll have a gab with you in a sec, Mick. No worries. Legend. Catch you later. See you later. <laughs>